Now what happens when the lich and the essence of the phylactery, because of the death of the Chaos Knights of the Old Vidya Legion, are resurrected via the ritual and all that blah da blah da how does that affect the immortality of the Outer Reitsman? Well, when an Outer Reitsman died before that, they... Since the Outer Reitsman, each Outer Reitsman was connected to a Lich, was connected to a phylactery, and the essence of the phylactery was brought with the Liches into death via the ritual, instead of resurrecting the Lich, when the Outer Reitsman dies, the phylactery from beyond, like from with being with you know the essence of the phylactery with the lich being dead when the other rightsman dies the phylactery you know thinks like okay well it doesn't think but you get the, i mean it doesn't think it's not alive but it it tries to resurrect the lich because it thinks the lich just died and is trying to resurrect them through however means the lich set it up, right? But in this ritual, everything's unified because, so therefore, it, it's a uniform insta resurrection, basically. But that's not stellar. So when this dies, when Outer Rightsman dies, Phylactery tries to resurrect Lich, but instead of the Lich getting resurrected, the, the resurrection by, via Phylactery, which is dead, with the Lich, technically it's not alive, but you get. It came with the Lich. So, Outer Reitzman dies. Phylactery tries to resurrect Lich. So they're both dead together, sort of. But instead of that, the resurrection of the Lich is rerouted to the Outer Reitzman, which then instantly comes back to life via the uniformity of resurrection that had been the, the, the ritual. That's it. So, when the the liches are back alive and the essence of the phylactery is back alive when the inauderatesmen would die they're alive they're both simultaneously alive separate of the liches but also connected to the liches therefore their immortality is connected to the liches but their lives are not their lives are if the liches died after being resurrected, the outer rightsmen would know. Well, I mean, they would be because of Phylacterus. Phylacteri. But if Phylacterus destroyed, the liches truly died. Outer rightsmen in immortality, once the liches were resurrected, would not be there, but the outer rightsmen would still continue to be alive. But say these guys are out, they are alive, alive. The outer rightsmen, an outer rightsman dies. One of the ones that isn't exploding. So, Outer Reitzman dies, Phylactery. Outer Reitzman dies, the Phylactery thinks the Lich has died. So it goes to resurrect them instantly via the ritual still being in effect. Attack, like, it's more like a spell thing, it's part of the ritual. And the liches are unaffected by this. Which means the phylactery... But the phylactery is sort of... It's more like... Like the liches went down and then went up. And therefore the phylactery is like still... It's like a thread... Where it's like, the thread of it went through here, and via resurrection, that didn't stop it from being in the death, it just sort of pulled it back out. So they're not, they're pulled out of death, but they're still in death, the sort of thing. So therefore, the outer rightsmen die, and then phylactery because of this, they're still technically dead, but like, not like they're still in death, but they're not dead. So therefore, fucking. 
therefore it works the same as it did before they were resurrected. But now they're just, so yeah. Look how fucking complicated this bullshit is. <laughs> This is magic systems, ladies and oh god. This is a supposed. I'm well. I mean, this is supposedly the most complicated resurrection in the history of the world of this fictional world, which is correct because this is not the full ritual. This is just on the specifically the resurrection of the Oda Reitzman, and not even how the mechanisms of making it work, like making it happen work. It's just the mechanisms of how it can work works. 